Hey gang, it's Gigi. It is your workout for day four. Thanks for joining me and thank you Kathy Muller who's here to help me out today with your workout. So wherever you are in your corner of the world, come and join me. Don't forget 30 minutes of your own cardio prior to this workout or you can split it 15 minutes before and 15 minutes after. So guess what my goal is today? I'm going to talk less and move more. I know I say that every day and it's still my continuing goal. So here we go. So we're going to get started with me chatting less right here. So we're just going to march it out, shake it out. I hope you guys are feeling really good. You're just going to inhale deep breath up. And I know I'm going to assume you're already warmed up because we're going to go right into it. So our 45 seconds of your cardio interval drill is going to look like this. You're going to step with your left and you're going to tap with your right. Step with your right, tap with your left. This is your beginning version, and it's just about the speed. Just like this. So you're going to do 45. So for our intermediate, we're just going to pick up our speed a little bit more. That's it. Good. And if my feet get cut off, you can always look at Kathy's feet so you know what's happening. That's right. Come on, keep it going. And now for our advance, you're just going to touch the floor. Keeping those abs nice and tight. Keep your chins up. Good. You're still utilizing your abs. Come on. You've got 20 more seconds. 15. Good. 10 more. Got five seconds. You got it. Come on. Got four. Got three. Got two. And one. Nice job. March it out. Uh-huh. Now take a water break whenever you need it. All right, so we're going right into our arms. We're going to do three different things, sets, to complete about a 10-minute series on our arms. We're going to use something you all have, wherever you are. We're going to just grab towels. So we're just taking regular towels kind of folding them this way so they don't flop around and hit us in the face. I'll give mine a little twist, just like so. Good. And just to get us started, we're going to stand here with our knees slightly bent and we're going to stretch out so there's tension on that towel the whole time. We're going to roll our backs. Nice. Got four and three. Perfect. Got two so those knees are nice and bent. One more. Nice job. You got it. So hands down. Palms are flat. We're just coming up for one and two. And it comes just to the shoulders. That's right. One and two. Good. We've got two more. So this is our beginning stance. Just nice half feet. Going into our intermediate. We're going to take it single count. It's up. It's down. It's up. It's down. And the whole time I'm holding this towel, I'm holding it apart. I give myself tension. That's right. And before you know it, this towel is going to feel like it weighs about 10 pounds. So hold right here at the top. Give me eight, seven. Go six and five. Go four more. Three. Got two more. Got one more. Going back to the beginning, bringing it down. Half up and up. So this is your beginning. You can stay just like this. Good. Make sure you breathe. Bring it up and up. Down and down. I know I put my music really low today. So you can play whatever music you want. And of course you can always mute me. You don't even have to listen to me. You just have to watch. You just have to watch and follow. Let's go. Got eight and seven. The whole time, put tension on that towel. Try to pry it apart. Got four and three. Got two more. Got one more. Last of the series. Bring it down. Let's do one little roll. Ha, and forward. Nice job. Now we're going to bring it up. So you're back to either your beginning, which is half feet, or to your intermediate and your advanced. Go up and down. Go eight. Now for your advanced people, if you want to work your core with this, go stand and do this with one leg up. That's right. Make those abs have to work. This is always a good option with any sort of like um, weight work that you do. Hold on top. Give me eight, seven, six. 
Five. Got four more. You got it. Abs are nice and tight. Bring that knee a little higher. Three more. Now, do you have to have your knee up? No, you don't. You can put it down just like this. You can have it side by side. Three more. Got two more. Got one more. Hold, squeeze it, and bring it down. Oh, yeah. You feel it? Oh, I feel it. And it's yes. just little towels. Woo! Forward and back. Got three. Got two. Got one. We're going to put our little towels away. Do 45 seconds of our cardio. I'm going to bump that music up just a little because I can't even hear it. Being old and all, you know. The, hear the hearing is going. There we go. So we're just going to step. This is your beginner. Let's go. I still want you to squeeze your ass. I want you to really reach back. It looks like kind of that, uh, I forgot his name, that skater guy. Something, something, oh no. Oh. Name his first name. Apollo. 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 Yes. Oh no, yeah. Why do you think he has such great quads and oh booty? Because he yes. does a lot of this. Let's go, pick it up. Our intermediate pace, come on. Almost there. Maybe about 20 seconds to go. If you want to go into your advanced, keep your chin up. Go, drop it down, touch that floor. Really, stretch that. Got four. Got three. You're there. Got two. Nice job, and time. March, march. We're back to our towels. All right. Set two. So we had it before in an overhand grip. This time, we're going to hold it underhand grip. Give it a little twist. And it's the same principle. Even though it's an underhand grip, I still put tension on my towel. I'm going to turn to the side. You guys watch Kathy from the front. So you see what we're doing. And it looks like this pulls in, pulls out. It comes up, half bicep curl, comes out and down. This is actually a classic Pilates move. It's called an offering because your palms are up, out, and down. Good. So this is a pace for beginner. This is your intermediate pace. Good. I want you to pull your elbows right along that rib cage. That's right. Now how are your knees? Don't lock them out. Nice. Got four more. Got three more. Got two. Got one more. So Kathy's going to continue just like this. I'm going to show you guys your option for your advance. It's the same thing. You're just going to hitch. It's a lot harder. Hitch. Out. In. And you can always try this no matter what your level is. You want to give it a whirl? Go for it. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Straight up. Keep your elbows out. Nice job. Got four to go. Got three more. So close. Keep those abs tight and breathe. Got two more. Got one more. Nice job. Hold right here. Now you're going to pulse up. Let's go. Eight. Seven. Got six. And five. Got four more. Got three more. Got two more. And time. Hold it out. And bring it all the way down. Ha. Oh, man, that's hard. Ha. I know. You feel it. And they're just a little towel. Woo. Got four. Got three. Got two. Got one. March, march. We're going to go right into our third set. Got eight, seven, six, five, four more, and three, and two. Now you're going to hold it out. Let's twist our towels again. This keeps it from like flopping us in the face, just like this. And this time, it starts up. But if you look at our elbows, it's not completely locked. You don't need to be completely locked like this. Just it needs to be up high. You're going to touch your chest, really pull your elbows down and back. That's right. Put tension on those towels. And now you're going to bring it up. And I'm going to turn myself. You guys watch happy. And then just rotate to the back. And now it touches my scapula. So it goes up. And it goes front. It goes up. And then it goes rear. And you really want to squeeze those shoulders. So beginners, this is a good pace. Just bring it up and bring it down. You may still be winded from that last little cardio interval we did. 
So this is great. Just keep moving. That's the most important part. So this is our intermediate pace. It's up and down. It's up and down. It's up and down. The whole time, you want to put tension on that towel. Tension. Nice. How's it feel, Kathy? You feel the burn, right? Yes. Got four. Got three. Got two. Got one. Now hold right here in front. Give me a little pulse. Pull that towel. Keep that tension. Nice. It's eight. It's seven. It's six. And five. Got four more. Got three more. Got two more. And push it up. Push it out. Nice. March, march. Shake those arms out. We're going to do that interval in between because we want to get that cardio up and keep it up. You ready? Whatever pace you do it, just go for it. Let's go. 45 seconds. That's it. Come on. Touch. Or not. You don't have to. I'd like you to. You can try for half and then back up. Or just go to town. That's it. Cross the legs. Cross. Cross. Let's go. I think that's about 25 seconds down. Maybe 30 to go or so. 35. Come on. That's another 10 seconds down. 20 seconds to go. Good. Got 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, got four, got three, got two, and time. Woo, nice. Hey, Matt, can you grab a couple bottles of water for us, please? March, March. Oh, you got a drink. Because by the time you're thirsty, you're actually already dehydrated. Woo, I know, right? Seems like we shouldn't be sweating that much. We're sweating now. Yep. March, March. Oh yes, one more for the arms today. Because it's so fun to do it with a towel. So again, back to our twist, our roll and twist. You got it just like this. Your left arm is all the way up. Your right arm is out. So it's kind of a weird stance, yes? Goes in, goes out, goes in. So because these towels are short, we have to even put more tension in and out. Nice, down. And uh, good. Elbow to your rib cage. The whole time, the one at the top above your head is resisting the pull of the outside towel. Nice job. Good. Now double right here. Seven, six, five. Got four more. That's right. Press it. Press, push, press. And the one above stays nice and firm, right in place. Nice work. Come up and up and other side. So now you've got this right above and you've got this in a slight bend. It's in, it's out, good, in and out. We're also working right here, we're working those lats. So when you pull in tight, you're contracting your latissimus dorsi muscles right here. You wanna work every bit of that body as much as you can, as often as you can. The more we make it very, the more chances that we're working all these different parts. There we go, we're going right into our double. Go eight, seven, push straight up. Don't forget, tension on that towel, make it tense. Got eight more, seven, got six, got five, got four more, uh-huh, got three. So of course, if you want, float that knee anytime you feel like it, bring it up, make that, that, uh, that core that needs to work. Three, two more, hold, squeeze, bring it up to the front. Nice work from here. Stretch it as hard as you can. Come forward, come up. We're gonna do one last set, the one that does the forward and back, because it's so good for your shoulder rotation. So keep these towels nice and tight. Good, abs are still tight. Bring it down for two, bring it up for two. Bring it rear for two, and bring it up for two. Bring it down for two, and bring it up. And bring it back, nice job. It's up, up, down, down. Let's take it to singles, go up, and back. It's up, and back. So this is your intermediate phase. That's right, you got it. Got three, and two, 
and one. We're going to double if you'd like. Ha! Boom! Back, front, seven, six, five, four, three more. Got two more. Got one more. And up. Nice job. Nice and slow. Bring it right here. We're about to take a break. We're going to take a little water break. I'm going to pause. We may go upstairs for the second and third pieces. But stay tuned. We'll be right back. Get a drink of water. Let's go. March, march. Oh, yes. Nice job. Okay, so we're back. I hope you are too. Hope you guys drink water. We've got our 45 seconds. Let's do it. Let's go. Touch and touch. Come on. I've got my eye on the clock. Yes, I'm checking the time for you. When it's at four right now, so when it hits back at 12, now we know we've done 45 seconds. So you want to just bust the move. Don't hold back. You got it. Come on. That's it. Let's go. It goes by fast, 20 more seconds. Abs nice and tight, cross it over, reach back. That's it, you've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Got four more, got three, got two, and time. Nice job, march, march. Woo! Eight more, seven, got six, and five. It's four, and three. We're going to do our series with our legs. And this is, we're doing forward and front lunges. We're going to do side lunges. So you're going to pick up your left foot, and you're going to touch toes first. You're going to sit back, and then push up and down. So our beginner is going to come just to here. Push those arms up. Pull the legs in. You don't even have to kick your legs up. I want you to feel balanced. Now watch Kathy because she's gonna do it with her left leg, which is your right. And she's gonna hold on to just the side, just to help stabilize her. Good, up, nice job. So Kathy, you're gonna step with your left? Step with my left. Uh-huh, and you're gonna lift with your left. That's it. Up. It's up and down. Touch, heel down, up and down. So it goes toe and heel, up and down. Let's see if you can see my toes, what's happening. Keep going, that's it. Toe, sit down on the heel, lift, and down. Toe, heel, lift, and down. Toe, heel, lift, and down. Toe, heel, lift, and down. Good, come on, you got four more. It's up, it's down. Abs are nice and tight. Sit that booty down, bring those heels back, and your toes come up. You've got one more. Lift up and down. March, march. So the next part of this, Kathy's going to stay in the same place, lifting that left, because this is called a clock. Okay? So you're going to stick one leg out, that same leg that you were stick, that you were stepping with. Your arms come straight up. Kathy's going to just hold on to that bar or whatever you have. Maybe it's your kitchen counter. You're going to lift that leg and bring it to either 4 o'clock or 3 o'clock. It's up and down. Good. Lift. Lower. So your knee that's supporting you has a slight bend. The one that's lifting completely stays straight. Those toes are pointing out and the shoelaces are pointing forward. That's right. Got three. Got two. And one. So for intermediate, you can stay in this lift just like this. For advanced, you're going to hold it at two and four, and you're going to pulse. You're going to lift, pulse. That leg needs to stay nice and straight. Arms straight. Lift that chest. Squeeze those abs. You're balancing. It's tough. Got four. Got three. Got two. Hold, squeeze, and bring it down. Nice job. Woo. I don't even know which leg to stretch out because both my buns hurt right now. So I'm going to take the leg that I was lifting with and I'm just going to cross it in front and just do a little bit of a front bend right here just to stretch it out. I'm going to bend my knees, tuck my chin under, and roll myself up. Nice work. March, march. Woo! We're going to switch to the other side. Get ready. Got three. Got two. 
So if you can see my feet, I step up with my toes. I sit back all the way to my heels, and my other set of toes come up and I sit up. And then I lift, come down. Let's go. So it comes down, lifts up, and in. Good. No, that's it. You're the right side, cat. Okay. Right here. Toe, heel, lift, and lower. Toe to heel. Sit back. Uh-huh. You know what? The way to do this is try to keep your abs nice and tight. Up and down. Sit, sit. Up and down. Your speed is what you choose it to be. Okay? And that really is dependent on what music you're using. And also, of course, how tired you are. Important thing is you just keep moving. That's it. You have four more. Let's go. Toe to heel. Push off. Bring it down. Push to heel. Sit back. Push off. Come down. Toe to heel. Up and down. Toe to heel. Up and down. Now, march. Shake it out. So, what muscle groups are we working? And it's kind of work in the outer thighs. Those are your abductor muscles. Very important. Four and three. Got two and time. You're gonna take that same leg. You're gonna bring it to our clock position. Kathy's gonna hold on, just like you would if you're doing this as a beginner, or even some intermediate. You're gonna hold on to something stable, okay? For those of you that aren't, you're gonna come here. You got it. Like two and four, or three and five o'clock maybe. That's right, abs are nice and tight. You got eight more. Eight, seven, good. Lift that chest, squeeze your quads. The leg that's lifting should be nice and straight. There should be no bend. Four, three, two, now here's our pillar. That's right, squeeze up, up. Up, squeeze and squeeze. You can do this. Yes, you can. First five seconds is the worst. Last seconds, 10 seconds, not so bad. Almost there. About five more. Four, three, really squeeze it. Two, hold it. Just hold that contraction. You're strong. And bring it down. Ah, march, Woo! march. Woo! Again, I don't even know which side to stretch. We'll just stretch both. Take your opposite one, the one that you were lifting, cross it in front of the other. Take a nice butt back stretch. If you can touch the floor, by all means, go for it. Just when you're rolling up, try to bend those knees and roll up. Head comes up last. Nice job. Let's do the other side. March it. Woo! Take this right, cross it over and take it down. Nice flat back stretch. Chins up. Now bend those knees and roll it up. You always want to stretch the muscle group you work because we're trying to encourage these muscles to be nice, long, and lean. None of us really want that short, tight, bulky, muscular look. Hey, we're very 2015. That's the look we want. I know. March it out, shake it out. Seven. Got six and five. So even when we're just marching, we're shaking it up. I want these abdominals. Hold it nice and tight. Always protecting that lower back. Plus it's a good hobby or a habit to keep it nice tucked under. Four more. Got three more. Got two more. Nice job and time. So what we're gonna do, it's called speed squats. And even though you're doing this fast, I still want you to put as much weight on your heel as you can, yes? It's down and up. Come on, come on. Sit. So if you're looking from the side, Kathy's going to keep going from the front. You can see that as I come down, my booty kind of sticks out a little bit. Yes. Seven, six, five, four. Come on, we got three more sets of it. You can do this. That's right. Come on, come on. Stick that booty out. I know, it looks like... My belly is just going everywhere. Just like I got this big blousey thing going. Come on. Down and up. Sit that booty down. Come on, make it count. Let's go. Nice and tight. One more set of eight. Down and up. 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 Give it some power. That's it. Got four. Got three. Got two. 
exhale, one more. Nice job, let's hold it right here. Why not, little exclamation point, yes? Booty down, chest up. So what you don't wanna do is do this, where your head's pointing to the floor, and it's about your back. You want it like this, sit, like a low bench. Almost there, three and two. Oh, we're there. Yes, we are there, hands down. Hold the stretch right here at the top. Very good. Bend your knees. Slowly roll it. Head comes up last. Very good. Three and two. And one. Get a drink of water. Let's pick up our last segment. We've got abs. Woo! Okay, we're back from our water break. Kathy's rearing to go. So we got this is our last set of our cardio interval. So just go to town. Let's go. Almost there. Keep that chin up. That's right. Abs tight. That's it. Come on. Reach back. Touch that floor or touch that knee or touch your socks, shins, whatever. Let's go. That's it. Come on. You've got 20 seconds. Go to town. Good. You've got 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and time. Roll it up. Woo. Nice job. We're ready. We're going to need some abs. So grab your mat or your towel and bring back that towel that you had. Because we're going to incorporate that into our abdominals today. Everybody's got towels. Doesn't matter where you are. Or maybe socks. Maybe you're somewhere. You have socks, but not towels. Where would you be in the planet where you have socks, but no towels? No, no towels. Okay, see? Scratch that. Or an old t-shirt if you don't have Yeah, or an old t-shirt is good too. A dog leash, whatever you have. Here we go. So same, same principle. We're going to put that tension on our towel. We're going to keep it there. We're going to roll down. So if you are a beginner, Kathy's going to do this intermediate level. She's going to start rolling down with her towel. But if you're a beginner, you can actually put your towel down or place it behind your knees like this. Yeah, I like that better than holding the knees. And you're going to just help guide that upper body down by holding and then slowly releasing from that towel. Nice job. To get up from this position, if you cannot get up from just sitting straight up, what you can do is place your hands down, dig the heel in, and then use those hands to help prop you up, okay? So I'm gonna do it with beginner. Kathy's gonna go right into our intermediate, and I'll jump and I'll show you the advanced version. Four and three, it's two. Bring it down, bring your chins up, and then sit all the way up, good. Bring it down, roll it down. I want you guys to tuck your chin to your chest. I want you to use the muscles in your belly, not your back. Park it and then come up. Use those arms, whatever it takes, to sit you up. Let's go, keep going. So close. Exhale out as you come down, chin tucked to your chest. You see Kathy's back is rounding down. She's not coming back, flat back. You don't want this to be a back exercise. That's right, so I'm gonna go right into our, into our advance and it's just a faster beat. One, two, three, touch, sit up. Goes one, two, three, touch, sit up. There's actually another option, and it just goes like this. It goes single and up, single and up. And you can see my towel, Kathy's towel, still nice and tight. We're keeping that tension all the way. That's right, seven. Got six, got five, got four more. Hey Tom, you want a challenge? Here's one for you. So instead of those knees being side by side, place those heels side by side. Keep these towels nice and tight. Give it a try, let's go. You're gonna roll back, touch, sit all the way up. There's less torque using your legs, so those abs have to work even harder to whip that body up there. I know, Julie, you're doing this. I know it. Come on, Michelle, you got this. Sharon, are you working out with us today? 
Bust the move, girl. Got two more. Got one more, Liza. And all the way up. Legs are out, just like this. Keep those towels nice and tight. We're gonna do a big exhale. Our goal is to get our towel to our toes. Is that a good goal? Just like this, right there. Now give it a little tug back. That's right, four. Got three, got two. Let's say you can't get your towel to those toes. Well, you know what? Grab onto your socks. Grab onto your shoelaces, whatever's here, but I just want you to tug something back. You got it? Yes. For four and three, got two, and one. we're gonna put the towels like a ball. Just like so. This is one of my favorites because it's kind of fun. This acts as a big distraction. You're gonna open those knees just like this, and in between, you're gonna go from the inside lift. Inside lift. Good. That's right. So this is kind of your beginner stance. The legs nice and low. You're pretty much just sitting up. And believe me, it's still challenging. Okay? Going to our intermediate. I want that knee lifted higher. Higher. Pass it. This is a ball. Could be a tennis ball. Again, could be a pair of socks. Doesn't matter. Nice job. Now you've got some advanced moves. This is a good option. Just go faster. Just like this. Good. Good. Or you can double the beat of whatever song you've got. Get those knees up. The more you lean back, see how Kathy's sitting back? Those are abdominals. Work it. Keep her from tipping back. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Sit forward. I want these knees bent and just hug. Stretch that lower back. You got two more sets like that, and you are safe. You're done. Here we go. So roll it up, nice ball. Heels nice and wide. So again, beginner, just slight lift. Most important thing, you guys, you have to squeeze those abs in, okay? You can't let them pooch out. The way to do that is by pulling under and exhaling out. I always tell my students, well, you guys have all heard this, that doing abdominals and not exhaling is like going shopping without any cash, no credit card. It's, it's, it's no fun, it's no good, no bueno, okay? Our intermediate, that knee lifts higher, and our advanced, you can either just speed it or bring those legs even higher, WBs, come on. Last 10 seconds, bring this home. You got it, got five seconds. Got four, oh my towel's a hot mess now. Got three, got two, you did it. Nice job. Arms all the way up, bringing it down. Your knees are bent. Just want to stretch that lower back. That's it, four and three, got two and one. You're gonna take that left leg, straighten it up. This is a quick 30 second stretch just to get you off the floor. Hands down right here. Give it a nice lower lumbar stretch. Four, four, three, two. I know doing any kind of workout and not following it without a stretch or following it without a stretch is like a meal without dessert, don't you think? Did I just say dessert? No! Like, <laughs> <laughs> I meant but not without, the next without few fruit. Weeks. Without like a delicious <laughs> piece of fruit. I you know. It's a shame, really. Sit up, hug your knee first, bring the opposite hand down, nice twist, got it, four, three, and two, let's get you guys in a standing position. Your hands are gonna come in front. If you still have the strength, I know y'all do. Hands here just pop up, that's right. The wider the feet go, the more you can drop those elbows for stretch. Three, and two, and one. Hands here, walk your feet a little bit closer. Our goal is to stand you up, hands on your quads. Roll it all the way up, chin to chest. Four, three, two. Inhale, deep breath, you did it. Day four is finished. <laughs> and it's like so close to being a week, don't you think? I mean, four days in, that's more than halfway. You guys are doing it, so just keep doing it. Reach behind. Uh-huh, big bow, because you did so awesome. Roll up, 
You did it. Have a great day. See you guys tomorrow.